Hello and welcome back to another place. So, how do we get? Oh God! That blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more and won't get off. He says he's carrying out an inspection, but he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Everything's above board here. Oh, uh, 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 of course. And what's that supposed to mean? No, uh, nothing. Your rides had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh, no, no, that, 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 that's nothing. Um, purely cosmetic. Um, the, uh, um, uh, inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Ooh. Had to institute a weight limit, though. Uh, don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No, <laughs> of course not. Uh, I was wondering if I could, uh, have a go on the ride. Uh, Righto. Uh, but first, you'll have to hop on the scale. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, gonna have to wait until the constable's finished, though. Ah, uh, all right. Balloons. A balloon always a good for a lift. Balloons. I will beat you with balloons, sir. Oh, hey, look, a free headed monkey. I think I'd like a turn. Go ahead. Yes. Scales first, though. Look at that. I've dropped a few pounds. The would-be chopping champion continues to shovel pie down his gullet. But the Major seems to have met his match in Vinny, the Wonder Nosher. The contest hasn't ended yet. Why, no, it's a last man... <clears throat> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <clears throat> As if you had to ask, man. <laughs> By my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gamalee. Hogwash! Woohoo! Mmm! And I'm relishing every bite! Ah, I'm just getting warmed up! We'll see about that. Mr. Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Right, oh. Meat pies by door, and my heck, look at that crust fly! Excuse me, Paneer, Mrs. Gabbley wanted me to give you this. Ah, must be a message to read out for the fair. <clears throat> Testing, one, two, one, two. All fairgoers are cordially invited to attend Mrs. Vinnie Gabbley's victory celebrations to be held later this evening at the Gabbley residence. Uh, that's everyone, including Major Croc, so long as he's humbled by defeat and pie fatigue. A scandalous suggestion! You'll regret the day you taunted a crumb! Don't puke, dude. Hello, Mr. Paneer. I was wondering if from your elevated vantage point, well, you haven't seen Mr. Muzzle up to anything suspicious, have you? Suspicious? Oh, you mean like planning a secret surprise for the fairgoers? No, I can't say I have. But you never know what he's got up his sleeve. Uh, not exactly. I mean, anything unsavory. Up to no good. Mr. Muzzle? <laughs> no, no, no. He may offer less than substantial prizes for his attractions, but that's just in the name of charity. Don't be ridiculous, Wallace. Oh, all right then. Thanks anyway. Chock full of donations. But Muzzle doesn't seem like such the dog lover now. Fancy a balloon? No, thank you, dear. Must focus on the task in hand. 
Uh, I know you're busy, Major, but I have a spare balloon. Love balloons! Oh, but not now, Wallace. Got her up against the ropes. I have a balloon. Scrum and Gabbily now, putting away pies as if they haven't eaten for a week. Looks as if someone's already won. Looks as if someone's already won. Hello, Duncan. Miss Blit. What do you use, Frank Wallace? Well, I, I don't know how to say this, but... Ah, uh... oh, come on! Don't be it! Duncan, let the poor man speak! <laughs> I think Mr. Muzzle has dognapped Gromit. Dognapped? <laughs> oh, that's a good one! You mean to tell me the old Monty Muzzle, the charitable dog lover and second most sensitive, caring man of the fair, has swept your mutt? Ha! Now that's rich! Oh, uh, yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but... Uh... Really, Wallace? It's not very charitable of you to be spreading rumours like that. Uh, uh... Oh, yes, well, this person that showed mind, up during then. the thunderstorm. It's a clash of titans, ladies and gentlemen. Clash of titans, all right. I'm, I'm s I get so hungry for this storyline. I want pie. God damn it, I'm gonna go. You know, tomorrow when I cook next time, I'm gonna cook myself a big old pie. I'm gonna eat it. Fuck. Meat pie. There's no point in that. What's Good those heavens. two? That's you guys. Yeah, you're still in there. I'll find a way to get you out. Don't worry about that. Meet Muscle himself. And let's think about this. I better get back to the fair and try and save Gromit. Yeah, but we need a pie for the. Oh, whatever. A balloon's good for raising spirits. Got a bunch of balloons here. See, you have to give the ride a bit of a patch job, eh, Mr. Muzzle? The muzzler seems a bit bumpy. She was damaged during a speedy disassembly a few weeks back. I had to pack her up in a hurry. <laughs> yes, I had to rush off to attend a tragedy in a cattery in the next town. Terrible business. But Monty Muzzle's philanthropy won through in the end. of titans, ladies and gentlemen, the munching major versus the guzzling granny. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned from it. Oh, I shouldn't poke around behind any of Mr. Muzzle's attractions. Oh, no. Wait a minute. And the munching Major Chrome is making heavy weather of his mastications. He's going blue in the face. Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Hmm. That's odd. Stop the ride. That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. You 
you've fallen a bit behind, eh, Major? Nonsense! Enemy propaganda! Don't believe a word of it! Soon as I've claimed victory, I'll be back on my favorite airborne attraction! Oh, right. The right. And the action is now really heating up! That's quite a few pies you've eaten, Mrs. Gabberly. Could have sworn there was more. Haven't really been keeping count. Just getting stuck in and enjoying myself. Oh, yeah, look at these. The rest of me finished pies. The rest? <laughs> oh, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And Major Crumb has just learned that Mrs. Gabberly is in the lead by a most devastating pie margin. Oh, not feeling too tickety-boo right now. Tickety-poo? I, I think I might have been outpied by the enemy. And it seems the Major might be giving up. Though he's only nine pies behind. Nine? That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue. Poor Major. Yippee! And down goes the Major. Out for the count. At a boy, Mrs. Gabberly. At a girl, Mrs. Gabberly. And she's still eating. Remember, she's like, hey, I've got to finish my fucking pie. Pies, veneers, purveyors of peculiar produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. Never mind, Major Crumb. You guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps. A man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride. He's gonna puke. You'll excuse me. Oh, I must have put on five stone. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a balloon so we break the right. Oh, poor dog. Too heavy. Boulder dash. I was only on her this morning. Oh, just over our limits, I'm afraid, Corporal Crumb. You must have piled on pounds since then. Corporal? That blinking contest! And I'm a major, don't you know? Aye, a major liability. So, you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit, and work off some of that extra weight. Go take a shit! Where is he? And remember, whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, or pomegranates, they're all available at Panier's Peculiar Produce, just two minutes' walk from this fairground. A balloon, Major Crumb? Who doesn't love a festive balloon? Used to tie the old balloon to our knapsacks when we were in the long grass to distinguish ourselves from the enemy. Uh, perhaps you're ready for the ride now? You might be right. I'm feeling lighter on my feet already. Well, weight limit passed. All aboard. Wahoo! Tucked away! Cabin doors to manual. Ready for takeoff. Blam! Yeah! Good heaven! Major Crumb's carrying too much excess baggage. The ride's going to burst in seams. Oh God, he's We've going to die. Hit. Oh my giddy hands. Oh my, those poor dogs were trapped inside of that dreadful machine the Rob entire it. time. Rob it. Are you all right, lad? Where is that monster, Monty Muscle? He was just here a moment ago. He's going for uh, the up money. Away. Bye. What are you doing? What is that? It's Monty Muscle! And our money! And Twitch! Arrivederci! Monty Muscle stock is on the rise! This is no time to jettison the cream, Gromit. We don't do floats. 
What'll it be, lad? One scoop or two? <laughs> oh, good show, muscle old chap. Not exactly what I planned, but a clean escape, nevertheless. A few quid, and one unexpected runt richer. What do you say, boys? Think we can find work for this emaciated mongrel? That's what I thought. Oh, the the cream is fresh worry. and you're going to be beaten, star, child. Lad. We've got to find a way to close the gap. Chewing gum. Uh, good thinking, lad, but that will only affect the taste of the ice cream, not the texture. She's still operational even when she's airborne. Oh, the bird seed, yeah. Even when she's airborne. Let's see. Oh, the Infinity Flavors ice cream making days are over till we can clean out that tank. Serve. Churn. Without a new flavor scan, the Infinity flavor defaults to vanilla. Oh. Even when she's airborne. Let's see what we can do about this. The hatch on the churning tank has sprung open. No time for that, Gromit. Think that would do Twitch's bunny any good? No time for that, Gromit. That would only provide a bit of crunchiness. Why did I do that? Let's put it on again. Oh. The old churning arm had its work cut out with that batch. Whew. Things are getting a bit sticky back there.
Here we go. I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. All right. Up we go. Careful, Gromit. Those lead line tires are costly and they weigh a ton. So they weigh a ton. As fast as we can, lad. She just doesn't have the welly power. Serve. What? What's wrong? Hey, looks like we've sold out of all our cones. That's good news. Direct hit, lad. Hey, now he's up a gum tree. We'll catch him now. Crikey, we're still not close enough to rescue Twitch. Hmm. Face only a mother could love, eh, Gromit? I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. Sir. Shoot. Any flavors ice cream making days are over till we can clean out that tank. Hmm. No time for that, Gromit. No time for that, Gromit. We're still not close enough to rescue Twitch. There we go. I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. Okay, up we go. Would be a shame to end the episode here. That batch doesn't have a hope, lad. That batch has gone chewy. Time to save Twitch. What do we do? That batch has gone. Only a mother could love a grommet. Oh, wait. I hope nobody gets hit by that. Ooh, now we've shed some pounds. I wonder what could have been that heavy. The wheels, boy. The puncture-free lead-line tires. Those didn't come cheap, you know. And how are we going to land without any undercarriage? <laughs> we'll find a way. It will Not got my engine, will they? I can still outrun them with the wind at me back. Hey, hey, they've run out of lift. Ah, sorry, my little twitching bag of bones, but no one's coming to save you now. 
Where do you think you're going with that? Eh, hey, fine then. Let go. Escape me, your flea ridden friend. Taking my hard earned charitable donations. I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. Okay. Let go. The money stays. Birdseed. Hey, easy. You've already been fed today. Ow! Get away! Stay away! Now, listen, chickens. Serve. Lucky grab from it. Let's get out of here. Oh. Ah. We're one scoop too many, lad. Oh no, from it. What the? Place for impact. Oh. Ah. Stupid chickens. Muzzle's moustache has gone flat. Oh, jeez. Money. Steal from me? Monty Muzzle? That's not how it works, sunshine. Steady, Gromit. Looks dangerous. You could get your paws nipped, or worse. This is all your fault, dog. This balloon has got no lift. Don't lose that arm, Gromit. But nothing a little glue can't fix. All right. Give that back right now. Hell no. Nah. Save what I can. Oi, come here, you. Nope. Do it, chicken. Go away. Careful, lad. Gotcha. If you want your master to take you for walkies ever again, you'll be very careful with that. Careful, I said. Screw you, man. No! My money! Oh, my beautiful money! Help! We're still falling, lad. Nope. Well, we could do with some more air. Huh? It should hold us for just long enough. They might have flown too high and suffocated in the atmosphere. 
happened to many a bomber in the war. And all to save a poor defenseless puppy. <laughs> Who would have thought Wallace was so selfless and brave? Aye, but more importantly, that blinking fairground felon still got our cash. He's due a salt in the mouth and a kick in the head. Honestly, Duncan, the last thing we need is more violence. We need heroes. Look, by Zeus's beard, what on earth is that? It's a giant mustache. Ah, <clears throat> I've seen beggar. You're alive. <laughs> Uh, yes, and saved by a whisker. Something of a close shave, eh, Gromit? Oh, ho. That's what you get, man. These poor pups won't go homeless after all, Gromit. Me and Mr. Gabley would be thrilled to take them in. No, we wouldn't. Pipe down, you misery guts. Great. Yet another mouth to feed. Three mouths. Oh, no. Anyway, Gromit, feel free to pop by for walkies any time you like. Your friends will always be here. Ooh, that little one's quite the hero. Have to keep him out of trouble from now on. Wallace! Oh, that was a feat of incredible bravery. Oh, it was nothing, Miss Flit, really. All in a day's work for Gromit and me. Couldn't let Muzzle run off with our twitch now, could we? A man like you is one in a million, Wallace. Your courage, your... She wants to Wallace D. Your aerial acrobatics. You could have been killed, yet you saved the poor whippets, apprehended the monstrous Monty Muzzle, and saved everyone's fortunes. You're a true hero to the town. Oh, um, well, uh, um, thank you very much, Miss Flit. Mm hmm. Uh, now, if only I could find the piece I that I feel uh... a little awkward asking you this, Wallace, but I was wondering... With a bit of elbow grease, I'm sure Gromit and I can have this up and running again by Christmas. Wallace, I... I have a proposal for oh, you. I wonder where this goes. Oh, Wallace! Uh, yes? A proposal and a ring! How... how... Oh, shocking! I beg your pardon, Miss Flint. Oh, and so polite. Now, calm yourself, Felicity. Will I, Felicity Flint, marry you, Wallace? What? Pull yourself together, Felicity, my girl. You mustn't rush into this. I'm honoured that you would have me as your bride, Wallace. But... I must think it over. I shall give you my answer within the week. <laughs> oh, jeez, Wallace. <laughs> I don't think he's at all interested in that. He doesn't seem that interested. Dear Lord. Okay, so thanks for watching this episode of Iron Place and this episode of Wallace and Gromit. I actually played this in one sitting, so that was fun. Um, I guess I'll get started on episode 4 sometime soon. Tomorrow, I guess. Um, I guess I'll have finished the entire series before it goes online. Oh, okay, well, <coughs> anyway. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you join next time for more shenanigans, until then, bye!